This girl sees me, she goes off. She loses her fucking mind. So she saw me. She was like, oh my God, no, Kevin. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I can't believe this. God must be playing a trick on me. God must be playing a trick on me. Oh my God. I said I was going to see you, and then I see you, and now I'm looking at you. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Oh my God. Can you do me a favor? Can you wait here for like 30 minutes? My mom is about to land. She would love to get a picture with you. I was like, Shh, fuck yeah, I'll wait. Go ahead, go get her. As soon as she left, I took off. Bitch, I'm not standing here for no 30 minutes waiting for your goddamn mom. No, kill yourself. Die today. Death to you, bitch, die. I'm not fucking waiting for you. My daughter cursed for the first time the other day. I didn't get mad. We was watching SpongeBob, right? Something happened to Patrick. Out of nowhere, she got mad. She was like, shit! <laughs> I said, wait, what? What'd you say? She's like, shit, they got Patrick, Dad. You're not watching? I said, whoa. All right. <laughs> here's, here's why I didn't get an attitude. I'm going to tell you why I didn't get an attitude, okay? I didn't get an attitude because I remember my first time cussing. My first time cussing was because my mom smacked me in front of company. My friends was over my house. I'm downstairs. We playing. We having a good time. My mom come downstairs. She said, hey, I told you to keep it down. You don't run this house. I do. Okay? With that being said, that's it. You're done. Go to bed. Mm, smack me. Sit me up to my room. Now, you know when you get smacked when you're a kid, you get hyped. When you get by yourself, you gonna smack me, bitch? In front of my friends? You gonna smack me in front of my friends? I was emotional. I was an emotional ass kid. I'm running away. That's it. I packed the bag and everything. You know how many times I packed the bag with a toy? the bag with one toy. I'm out. I'm sick of it. Me and He-Man are out. My, my, mom gave, my mom gave me permission to cuss one time. One time she gave me permission to cuss. I'm in school. I'm being bad. My teacher got mad. Said, Kevin, come here. Told me, come to the front of the class. Wrote a note. Stapled the note to my chest. Said, make sure your mother read the note. I get home, my mom read the note. The note said, maybe if you showed your son some more attention at home, he wouldn't act like a fool in school, right? My mom read the note, she said, let me tell you something. You tell her, mind her damn business before I come down there and I beat her ass. I said, oh, okay, do you, you want me to say it like that or do you want me, you want me to take some stuff out? What I say? Tell her, mind her damn business before I come down there and I beat her ass. I said, no, I heard what you said. I just want to make sure that you know that you're telling me to say the same thing. <laughs> Kevin, if I tell you again, I'm going to smack the shit out you. Okay, nah, I got it. Okay, I got it. I do. Okay, I got it. Nah, I got it. All right, I got it. Keep in mind, it's a lot of pressure, all right? My mom just gave me permission to go to school and cuss my teacher out. I didn't feel comfortable with the situation, so I wanted to practice. I wanted to go upstairs. I wanted to go over my lines. So, <laughs> I'm in the mirror. I'm going over my lines. I'm like, okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. My mom told me to tell you to mind your dumb. Nah, that's too loud. That's way too loud. That's not believable. It's too loud. Finally, I go over it. I get it down. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go to bed early, get some rest, because I got a big day ahead of me tomorrow. I don't, I don't really want to mess this up. So I go to bed. I wake up, get dressed, put on my pants, my shirt. I get on the school bus. All my friends see me. They get hyped. Oh, Kevin's on the bus. Everybody look. Kev on the bus. What up, Kev? I was like, yo, not today, y'all. I got a lot of stuff in my mind. Uh, I can't really have y'all throwing me off. And my friend was like, what you talking about? I said, I can't really get into it. All I can tell y'all is that it's about to go down. He's like, what? I said, look, man, it's about to go down. Just be behind me when I walk in class. He's like, all right, cool. I walk in class. Miss Green, my teacher, she starts speaking to everybody. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. She see me. She was like, Kevin. I said, Miss Green. She said, did you let your mother read the note? I said, yes, I did. She said, well, what did your mother say? I took a deep breath. I looked at my friends. I was like, it's about to go down. I said, well, uh, my mom told me to tell you to mind your damn motherfucking business, bitch. Little stupid bitch. Little dumb teaching, bitch. Two plus two not knowing what the fuck it is, bitch. Cross-eyed crying down your back, fat foot ass, bitch. 
long titty, no nipple having ass, bitch. <laughs> the shit that was crazy. <laughs> My friends was in the background. They was like, oh! <laughs> he said she ain't had no nipples. <laughs> I got suspended. I got suspended and an ass whooping. My mom beat the shit out of me when I got home. I told you to say two cuss words. You said 76 of them. <laughs> I thought I was Samuel L. Jackson. I'm sick and tired of these motherfucking teachers in this motherfucking school. I had a trench coat on, I flapped it. Fuck! <laughs> you know, when you flap it, you gotta get that ear under it. Fuck, nigga, fuck everybody in this bitch. I don't give a shit. Stupidest thing my dad ever did when he was on drugs, right? When I was a kid, I remember my dad came to parent-teacher conference. That's where you go to your kid's school, talk to your teacher, see how they doing in school. My dad shows up with sweatpants on, with no drawers. This nigga dick was all over the place, okay? Listen. I cannot make this up. Let me show y'all how my dad walked into my school. This is all I saw. Hey! Come here. Hey! 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 <laughs> Every time he stopped, his dick kept moving. Excuse me! I can hear little girls like, ew! Ew! My dad got mad. What the fuck is you illing about? You ain't never seen nobody with a long dick. Hey, dad, don't, don't say that. You're going to learn today. You're going to learn what a long dick look like today. No, dad, she don't need to learn that, please. Yeah, my dad was crazy. My dad was really crazy, man. See, my dad was mad at me because I wasn't an athlete. I didn't play sports. I was in a weird shit like spelling bees, debates. Now here's the thing, my dad would show up at my events and treat them as if they were athletic events. First of all, you can't cheer for no kid at a spelling bee. It's a spelling bee, it's quiet. I'm focused. I'm in the middle of spelling a very difficult word. My dad shows up late, busts through the back door, high as hell making cokehead noises, all right? Once again, I cannot make this up, all right? This, this is all I heard. I'm in the middle of spelling some shit. Out of nowhere, all I heard was, all right, all right, all right. Yeah! My son's spelling the shit out these motherfucking words. In your face, bitch! In your face! All right, all right, all right! Hey, shit that made me laugh the most, you see how y'all sitting next to people? I told you my dad never wore drawers, ever. This is my dad getting to his seat. This is all I saw. Excuse me. I can hear people like, oh, God, Jesus, ah. Uh, what is it? I don't know. I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, it's loose. It's all over the place. It's got to be a penis. I don't know what else it could be. My dad got mad. There ain't no penis. That's a long dick. Hey, Dad, don't say that. All right, all right, all right. You're going to learn today. You're going to learn what a long dick look like today. Hey, son, let me hear you spell long dick. No, Dad, I can't. It's against the rules. L O D. No, Dad. All right, all right, all right. This nigga had the dog with him. No, Dad. The dog is on drugs too. Dad, please. My goal is at the end of the show is to have y'all all y'all saying that shit for no reason at all. For no reason at all. Next time your lady say something to you, just cut her off. It don't matter what she say. Hey, babe, shut up, bitch. All right, all right, all right. I make you suck on this long dick. You gonna learn today. You gonna learn today. All right, all right, all right. I wish I could be a rapper or some shit. I really do. You know why I can't be a rapper though, man? Because my voice ain't deep enough. To be a rapper, you need a deep voice. That's the only way people gonna want to listen to you on a regular basis. I don't think nobody would buy my album because my voice is too small. Yeah, bitch, I'm a killer. I shoot you in your face. Pshum, pshum, everybody gonna die. Pshum, pshum, everybody gonna die tonight. <laughs> Did he just say pshum, pshum? I'm not buying that shit if he said pshum, pshum. Ain't no way around. Certain shit just keeps you from being tough. You wanna know what's really keeping me from being tough? Look at this. This is really holding me back. Look at this shit here. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this shit here. This is really fucking me up, man. Cause ain't nothing tough about this. It don't matter what you say. Ain't nobody gonna take you serious if you swing your feet. 
It don't matter. I will kill everybody in this bitch tonight. I ain't fucking playing with y'all. Y'all think it's a game? Nah, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the way people treat me around here. Would you talk to a guy who swung his feet? If you had a club and I try to talk to you, come in, baby, let me holler at you for a second. You, girl, you know damn well who I'm talking to. Just wait a second. Let me climb down and get my feet together. Wait a minute now. Rappers make me laugh, though. I swear rappers are funny, man. You ever see rappers freestyle? Like when they be battling each other? You ever notice the more angry a rapper get, the higher his hands get? You ever notice that? <laughs> Like, they start off so calm. Like, I'm, this is rappers when they freestyle. You're like, the dude, just the dude when he be listening to the other guy. <laughs> you ready? No, I got him. I got him, B. <laughs> Wait, this is really how they be. Look. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> hey, look, <though. laughs> Hey, <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a rapper. I'm really trying to be a rapper right now. Like, this, this, <laughs> this is the real angry rapper. Real talk. I kill niggas. I slay niggas that don't love it. Nigga, you want to beat me to get it? I get it back. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> I have to be so confused. Oh shit, this nigga's crazy. He's about to... <laughs> he be trying to follow his hands. This nigga's crazy. He's about to kill me. He's gonna cut me or something. See, I've seen a woman get here. It's unattractive. The reason why it's unattractive is because when a woman reaches a certain level of crazy, she doesn't know that she's being crazy. Everybody else knows. Everybody else sees it. Hey, that bitch in the corner with the diaper on her face is fucking crazy, yo. She's fucking crazy. She's a psychopath. Everybody else knows except her. Here's the thing. I was in that situation. I saw a woman get crazy. Let me tell you how I knew this one chick went wild, okay? We in the house one day, arguing. All fucking day. Gets to the point where I'm like, you know what? I can't argue with you no more. My head hurts. I'm done. I'm getting in the shower. I'm getting dressed. I'm going to the store. True story, people. That's exactly what I do. Get in the shower, get dressed, get in my car, start driving to the store. On the way to the store, I hit a speed bump. When I hit the speed bump, I hear a lot of noise in the trunk. Boom. 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 That's weird. I ain't put shit in the trunk. The fuck is all that noise in a goddamn trunk? I'm small. I get scared fast. So, I get out the car. I pop the trunk. This is some true shit. I pop the trunk. When I pop the trunk, this bitch was stooped down in the trunk like this, looking at me. I see her in the goddamn trunk. I see her see me see her in the goddamn trunk. I just caught you in the trunk of my car. You got to say something to justify what the fuck I'm looking at. What the fuck are you doing in the goddamn trunk? With a straight face. She looks at me, jumps out the trunk, rolls her eyes, and takes off, as if I never saw her. Now let me tell you why I had an attitude. I had an attitude because we live together. Like, I'm going to see you tonight. We have to address this at some point in time. I said, no, fuck that. We're going to talk about this right now. I get in the car, I drive home. Here's where it gets crazier. When I get home, she in the kitchen cooking, right? <laughs> I walk in the house, she said, hey, babe, you hungry? Bitch, what the? Oh! Wait, I don't want to talk about no goddamn food. I want to talk about why I popped the trunk and you popped out the goddamn trunk like a goddamn jack in a box. The fuck were you doing in the goddamn trunk? With a straight face, she looked at me, she said, I wasn't in no goddamn trunk. <laughs> Bitch, I saw you see me see you in the goddamn trunk. You ain't see me in no goddamn trunk. You must have saw one of them other bitches you be fucking with. Goddamn trunk. Nigga! It messed me up so bad, I started thinking. I was like... Did I have another bitch in the trunk? I might have... Oh no. I might have put another bitch in the trunk and forgot she was in the trunk. What else don't I like? I don't like ostriches. I'm scared of ostriches. For those people who don't know what an ostrich is, it's a big ass bird that's the same size as me. These birds are huge, okay? I'm in Nebraska, I'm doing a show in Nebraska. I had to pee, so I'm on the side of the road, I'm peeing, right? I get done peeing, I look to my left, it's a big ass ostrich looking at me while I'm peeing. He was standing on one leg like this. His body was facing this way, but his head, his head was like this. Now, I didn't know what it was, so I didn't say anything. My friend got out of the car, he's like, yo, what's that? I was like, I don't know. It's like a big-ass man pigeon. I don't know. I don't know what it is, right? 
He's like, that ain't no man pigeon. I was like, it is a man pigeon. He took a pen, he threw an ink pen at it, right? As soon as he threw the pen at it, hit the ostrich in the chest. As soon as he hit the ostrich, his other leg came down. His body was still facing this way, but his head, his head was still like this. Now, when, it, when his leg came down, this is when the bitch started to come out of me a little bit. I was like, you know what? We should, um, we should, we should probably go get back in the car because, because we don't really know what that means. You know what I mean? Like that, that, that could be a sign. That could mean like you got 10 seconds to get the fuck out my face before I kill you. I'm gonna eat your kids. We don't, we don't know what he's trying to say. So let's just get back in the car where we safe at. So we get in the car. As soon as we get in the car, I start laughing. I'm like, ah, <laughs> you a bitch, man. Like, no, you a bitch. I'm like, no, you a bitch. I'm laughing. I'm driving like 30 miles per hour. I look out the passenger window. The ostrich was running 30 miles per hour beside the car. His body was still facing this way, but his head was still like this. He was hard assy at 30 miles per hour. Now, when I'm scared, like if I'm real, real scared, I get emotional. I'll, I'll start to cry if I'm real, real scared. So I got a little emotional. You know, I looked at my friend. I was like, why would you, why would you throw a pin at it? If, 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 we, if we don't even know what it is. No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm saying like, I'm saying we don't even know what it is. He's like, dude, stop bitching, speed up, speed up. I lied to y'all not, I started driving like 60 miles per hour. When I tell y'all that this ostrich was running 60 miles per hour, I'm not bullshitting. His body was still facing this way, but his head was still like this. He was running so, you couldn't even see his legs. He was going so fucking fast. He was, he was just moving. And the reason why I was so scared is because he never looked in front of him. Like, he didn't care about a wall, another ostrich. He was just looking at us, but the way he was looking at us is like he was saying, when I catch y'all, I'm gonna fuck both y'all up over a pen, over a goddamn pen. And I was like, why don't you just apologize? You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I didn't throw the pen. I was scared. That's the only time I ever shitted on myself in my life. I've never shitted on myself, but I let go that time. I let loose. I really did. Cause I had to, I had to go. Now my job is to make y'all laugh and educate at the same time. Here's my goal to educate. See a lot of couples here on double dates tonight, okay? I'm gonna tell you why you don't do that. I'll tell you why. Shag them out of here. Listen to this shit. Some real fucking shit. Fuck with you. Know you for a minute. Pay attention, okay? I'm small, but I fucking know a lot of shit, okay? <laughs> Here's why you don't double date and pay attention. It's serious. All you do is compete with the other couple. That's it. I'm telling you, real shit. Let's say he lean over and give her a kiss. Mm. Love you, babe. It's innocent. Love you, babe. First thing she gonna do, she gonna look at you. She's like, mm, must be nice. <laughs> now, now the competition started. Now the only way you can win is to suck her titty at the table. That's it. No, listen. <laughs> what I'm saying is real, okay? No, here's, here's my point. Here's my fucking point. Why she cover her titties? Like, she, like, like he was gonna jump on the titties. All right, no, he's not. It's just, I'm just talking, Shiny. Listen, here's the fucked up thing, okay? Here's why I say that. Women are so emotional. They discuss everything, Shaq. They fucking talk. They talk about y'all business. Men, y'all don't discuss each other business. All we talk about is the shit that we might do. That's it. But they discuss everything. And it come out on night like this. Like y'all out, y'all drinking, it's all-star weekend, you having a good time. This is when the shit come out. I'm showing you how it come out. You get mad at her. You're like, you know what, Keisha? I can't stand when you come out, you get drunk, you fuck her tonight. She's like, whatever, dying. At least I don't eat ass. You're like, what? Listen, listen, hey, Shaq, look, Shaq, hey, look, look, Shaq, you be like, what? Eat ass, oh, you don't eat ass? He don't eat ass, hold up, whoa, you, you told him I eat ass? Everybody was talking, I didn't know it would come out. Now, now you gotta sit there with the you ate ass face, you, you, he's sitting there like this. 
that's the, that's the you ate ass face, right? So of course, you bring it back up because you mad. You're like, hey, look, first of all, only time I ate your ass was on your birthday. No, 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 fuck it. You want to talk about it? Let's talk about it. I didn't get you shit, so I ate your ass. Don't make it seem like I'm out here every day and I'm just eating your ass. Everybody sitting here pushing my glass to the side like I got the shit mouth. Fuck y'all. Better won't be no more ass eating up in here. I'm Kevin Hart. I love y'all. Swear to God. Explain why. If you're my best friend, I shouldn't have to ask you to lie for me. I shouldn't have to ask for your permission for me to put you in my lie. You know why? Because you're my best fucking friend, bitch. That's your job. The day that we sign up and say that we best friends, that means that my bullshit is your bullshit. And your bullshit is my bullshit. If you're my real best friend, you should know that I need you to lie for me by the look on my face. If I'm looking at you and I'm not blinking, if I'm like this, that's a goddamn sign. That means the bitch got to drop on us. My back is against the wall. This is not a test. It's the real deal. Help me. Help me. Nigga. Help me. My friend Harry ignored all signs, okay? Let me tell you how shit hit the fan. Let me tell you how shit hit the fan. I come in the house, right? I come in the house, it's like four in the morning. I'm drunk, people. Drunk as shit. I have no balance. I'm all over the place. I'm rocking back and forth. As soon as I walk in the house, she wakes up. She goes off. You know what? I'm sick of this. I know you was probably out with some bitch. You was probably messing with some bitch. Now I'm drunk. I don't want to respond because I don't have any balance. I'm rocking back and forth. You don't look believable when you're rocking back and forth. So I had to choose a stance in which I look believable. So I chose this. I said, let me tell you something. Listen to me. Wasn't nobody with no bitch, okay? You're wrong. Matter of fact, to prove you wrong, I'm gonna call Harry. Harry not expecting me to call right now, so Harry don't have no reason to lie. And I'm gonna put it on speakerphone. About to make you feel stupid. Watch this. Watch how fucking stupid you feel. Watch. Watch this. Harry! Harry! Real quick, don't lie. Let's stop right there. Let, let's just stop right there for a second. What, what does that mean? What does that mean, people? Lie. It means lie right now. I mean, the bitch got to drop on us. My back is against the wall. This is not a test. It's the real deal. Help me. Help me. Nigga. Help me. Harry ignored all sides. I'm going to tell you exactly what Harry said. I said, Harry, Harry, real quick, don't lie. Where are we coming from right now? He said, Man, you was with that bitch with the fat ass. <laughs> what? Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Yo. <laughs> I was so fucking scared. I was so scared. <laughs> Look at this bitch gonna kill me. It's gonna fucking kill me. See, but I understand something. I'm not, I'm not mad at Harry. The reason why I'm not mad at Harry is because Harry has done some dumb shit, but I understand who he is. See, Harry might be the smartest, dumbest friend I've ever had in my life, okay? Let me tell you the dumbest thing that Harry's ever done. Harry invented the code for us to use to let each other know when we were around our women. Basically, if somebody used the code, it means don't say anything stupid. You might be on speakerphone. Don't say nothing dumb. The phone might be loud enough so my girl can hear whatever it is you're saying. It means don't say anything that could jeopardize our relationship. The code was... Man, I'm hungry as shit. That's cold, people. Man, I'm hungry as shit. Here's what pissed me off about the code. Harry invented the fucking code. So there's no reason why Harry should ever mess up the code. Here's how Harry messes it up. I'm in the car with my lady. I'm driving, she in the passenger seat. Harry calls me while I'm in the car. I got the Bluetooth shit in the car, so my phone rings, the whole car rings. Harry's name pops up on the dashboard. I answer, what up, boy? Kev, what's going on? Ain't shit. This I knew the conversation was about to take turn for the worse. This I knew was about to get filthy. He said, nigga. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> hey, hey. Man, I'm hungry as shit. He said, I'm not. I just hate. Wait. Wait. Harry. Whoop. Harry. 
Woo-hoo. Her. I said, man, I'm hungry as shit. He said, yo, you should go to Subway, get the foot long for five hours. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! Ah! I said, man, I'm hungry as shit. He said, oh, that must mean you ready to eat these white bitches. <laughs> what? Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I ain't eat no white bitch. I ain't eat no white bitches. I never did. Oh, my God, no. Oh, no. I'm fucking kill y'all, man. Get fired on these bitches again. <laughs> I'm scared of dolphins as well. I'm very scared of dolphins. And I, like I said, I got a reason to be scared of everything that I'm afraid of, right? Me and my lady, we in Maui one time. We in Maui. She's like, babe, we should go swim with the dolphins. I'm like, no, I told you how I feel about them dolphins. I don't want to swim with the dolphins. She's like, come on, stop acting like that. Let's swim with the dolphins. I was like, you know what? Let's swim with the dolphins. Something happened to me. It's going to be on your conscience. Now, we go to swim with the dolphins. They got the dolphins in like this little tank, right? It's like eight dolphins. I see an old lady on the back of a dolphin, these little boys. I'm like, you know what, babe? I might have been overreacting. Get the camera, take some pictures of me on the back of the dolphin. I was excited, right? I get in the water, I'm on the back of the dolphin. The instructor, he says, as soon as you grab the dolphin fin, the dolphin gonna start taking you around. So whenever you ready, grab his fin. As soon as I grab my dolphin fin, my dolphin went straight to the bottom of the tank. He went straight down, right? <laughs> now, because I was scared, I didn't let go. I held on. And you know when you're scared, you start to mentally create stuff in your own mind. I was like, it's obvious that I got a racist dolphin. He don't like black people. That's obvious. He done cut a deal with a shark to bring him a black piece of meat. Something bad about to happen, right? I let go, I get to the top, I start snapping on the instructor. I was like, nobody just saw dolphin number eight missing? Huh? Nobody noticed that I was gone for like 30 seconds? You don't have a bell or nothing at your ring? He tried to kill me. He took me to the bottom of the tank to meet with sharks, okay? I'm the only black dot in this damn tank. You didn't notice that I wasn't going around? Huh? You see this old lady and this little boy, but nobody noticed the black swirl missing? Nobody noticed it? And he was like, whoa, whoa, calm down. It's three feet, just stand up. And I was like, what? <laughs> What'd he say? I didn't even realize that I was walking and talking at the same time. <laughs> But it was a racist dolphin. I'm gonna tell you how I know it was a racist dolphin. Because like, you know how dolphins be like, kick, 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 kick. Well, when I got out the water, I looked at him and he looked at me. He's like, nigga, nigga. And I said, what did you just, what? Let me tell you the worst person in my family. The worst person in my family is my cousin Al. I'll tell you why. My cousin Al was on drugs too. But unlike my dad, Al found Jesus. See, but Al's one of those people that found Jesus. And now that he found Jesus, he tries to throw Jesus on everybody. You ever meet somebody like that? For no reason at all, they throw religion at you. You did nothing to deserve this conversation. No matter what you say, they bring up religion. Hey, good morning, Al. Uh, it is a good morning because Jesus woke us up. Hello. Boom. I love him. Do you? What? The fuck does that have to do with anything, man? I'm trying to play basketball. This ain't got shit to do with nothing. Al, Al got mad at me because I live in L.A. He said, Kevin, you out here in Hollywood doing God knows what. Sex, drugs, money. Lord knows what you're into. You need to get a relationship with God. I said, dude, don't talk to me about God. I'm fine, okay? You the one who's on drugs. You get a relationship with God. He got mad. Now, anytime he get mad, he always got to bring up some dark shit from his past that nobody needs to know. I don't know where he said, Kevin, let me tell you something. I know I was on drugs, but I found Jesus. Granted, I didn't know him when I was out there sucking dick for money, but I'll tell you something. I said, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. I said, when was this? What year was this? He said, he said it was in the 80s. Everybody was doing it. This is shit that pissed me off. He said, your dad was back.
From legends, all all the stars of today. The Their stories inspire in every way, bringing worlds to life with every line. In the hearts of fans, they eternally shine. So here's to the actors, the queens and the kings With each role they take, a new adventure springs In the realm of imagination, they reign supreme Living out their passion in the spotlight Dreams on a silver screen Actors and actresses living the scene From drama to comedy, they play their part Captivating hearts, igniting the spark Back there with me, I said, what? <laughs> My dad was like, alright, alright, alright Hey, you gonna learn today? Uh, no the fuck I'm not. You gonna keep that lesson to yourself. I told my dad to go get one cup and put your name on it. That is your cup. You ain't gonna drink out another goddamn glass in this house. That's it for you. <laughs> then it dawned on me where she got it from. Because I met her dad earlier that day. Her dad had one of those laughs. I call it the rich white guy laugh. You know what that is? It's a laugh that's followed by an awful joke. The joke doesn't make you laugh, but the laugh eventually makes you laugh. He found out I was a comedian. He kept trying to tell me jokes. He's like, oh, so, uh, so you're a comic, right? Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, all right, all right, all right. Listen, I got a, um, I got a joke for you. You can, you can keep it if you want. I don't mind. Um, all right, all right, all right. You ready? All right, okay. <laughs> all right, this is crazy. It's so good. All right. So I'm at, I'm at the office. I'm at the office. I tell this guy. I said to him, what did I, wait, what did I say? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, all right, all right. I got it, I got it, okay. All right. So I'm at the office, right? I'm at the office, and uh, I tell this guy. I said to him, I said, hey, uh, pass me the stapler, but when you pass it, make sure staples are in it, because if it isn't, I can't staple anything. But he kept looking right at me while he was doing it. <laughs> Here's a weird thing. You like you know how people clap when they laugh like ah. You know he had a clap that he would do with his laugh, but I never knew when it was coming. I couldn't time it. Now, you know how sometimes you can time a clap? I didn't know when the clap was coming, so it was hard for me to participate and clap with him because it took too long, right? But he was still looking at me the whole time. He was like, That was like 57 seconds right there. I can't wait 57 seconds. It's a long time ago. I'm just being honest. Now, ladies, I know what you think. You're like, Kevin, you don't like all this stuff about us. I'm quite sure some stuff that we don't like about you. You're absolutely right. I'll tell you what you don't like about me. I don't have sex for very long. I'm not playing. You got about a good 20 to 23 seconds with me, ladies, and I'm very serious. I'm serious. Here's the thing. I don't care. I come quick, whatever. It is what it is. Fellas, if you come fast, embrace it. Be good in that amount of time. All you got to do is disguise it. Put a girl in a lot of positions. That's what I do. I put you in like nine positions in 23 seconds. I'm not playing. You don't believe me? Okay. All right. Watch this. I'm going to fuck the shit out this stool for 23 seconds. You brought this on yourself. Don't make me laugh. This is serious shit. Shut the fuck up. You're about to get it. Go. You all right? You want some juice? That's, like, that's how you know when you ain't do shit, when you want some juice. When a man asks you, do you want some juice? He know his dick wasn't shit. You want some juice? I'm going to the kitchen, I get some juice, you want some juice? You want me to make you some juice? I can make you some juice from scratch. Hey, fellas, you ever get that hump in your back? You know what that is? You ever get that turtle shell? 
So you come too hard. Uh, uh, uh. That shit right there. Uh. That turtle shell. Your head going in and out the shell. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> shit. Just caught a charley horse in my back. 